Hey, so I'm with Jared Simon. He's the co-founder and COO of Hotel Tonight, which is a last-minute booking app, a very popular one, which has raised $80 million in venture capital since being founded in 2010. Jared, thanks for uh, having me here. Thanks so much for coming. This is amazing, amazing office space, and so we're going to take a tour a little later. But Cool. So tell us about your expansion news. Big news. Yeah, we well we recently recently raised a, a, a new forty five million dollar round of funding, and the uh, one of the big purposes of that of that funding was to continue our expansion around the world. Uh, we really want Hotel Tonight to be a verb that anyone around the world, no matter where they are, can use. They say, "I'm in a new place. I want a hotel. I'm going to Hotel Tonight it." Um, so today we're in about one hundred fifty cities around the world, and yesterday we launched three new cities in three new countries, uh, Prague in the Czech Republic, Budapest in, in Hungary, uh, and Vienna in Austria, um, in addition to launching an additional city in, uh, in Italy, in Venice. Uh, so continuing our march around the globe, we're now in, I guess, 15 countries, uh, originally launched in just three cities in the U.S. back in uh, the beginning of 2011. How many cities are you in the U.S.? In the U.S., I, I'm going to estimate we're in probably, well, close to 100 at this point. Okay. And then by the end of the year, because you guys are just growing like crazy, so by the end of the year, what do you estimate? We expect have? to launch another 40 cities by the end of the year. Uh, so plenty of expansion. And how many other countries? Uh, it, we, uh, probably in the range, of, in a handful of countries, you know, so five more countries. So for those not familiar with your app, just tell us how it works. Sure. Um, so Hotel Tonight, what Hotel Tonight is good for is you woke up this morning, didn't expect to stay in a hotel tonight for, what, for whatever reason, your plans have changed. Either your meeting got canceled or ran over, your flight got canceled, you are out in the city and having a great time and you want to extend the night. Uh, for whatever reason, a hotel might be really nice. It might be necessary or it just might be kind of cool. Um, Hotel Tonight is the world's first uh, booking service dedicated exclusively to that use case. And so we are exclusively mobile. You'd never be in that situation and want to get on a computer and look for a hotel. Uh, we are exclusively mobile on Android and iPhone. And the way the service works is every day at noon, you see a limited number of hotels show up on the Hotel Tonight app for booking uh, anytime until 2 a.m. And the reason it's limited is because we want to keep it very, very simple. We do the curation for you, and we our promise to our users is we only display the best hotels each day and the ones that are giving the best value for a last-minute booker. Um, and by value, I mean the hotels see us as a really nice way to attract new guests to their hotel by using rooms that are otherwise going to go empty tonight. Right. And so they're willing to get more aggressive about price to attract these new users. Um, and Hotel Tonight gives everyone a really nice venue to meet. And what's the quality control for the hotels? Like, what, what's your, you know, how do you choose the hotel? Well, I think this is something that really distinguishes us from other ways of booking hotels. It's that every single hotel that makes it onto the Hotel Tonight app has been vetted by our staff of hotel experts here. Um, we, since we only display a limited number of hotels each day, mm -hmm. we don't need to work with every hotel in every city everywhere we are. In fact, we only work with a very limited number of those hotels, and we take the cream of the crop. Um, and that means hotels that, are, that offer something really interesting in terms of the, the look and the feel and the vibe of the place. Mm -hmm. It means hotels that are really sophisticated operationally because they need to be able to um, process reservations in real time. We want our guests to be able to book on Hotel Tonight. And on Hotel Tonight, it takes three taps and a swipe to book a hotel. You can do it in 10 seconds. Is it across the board in terms of quality, like the Ritz, as well as like a Super 8? Or... What we do is we, do, we categorize hotels in terms of the vibe. So, you know, one of the, thing, one of the great things about booking in real time for tonight mm -hmm. is that you know what you're in the mood for. If you book two months out ahead of time, you don't really know where you're going to be or what you're in the mood for that day. Right. You might be in the mood to be pampered, in which case you can book our Lux option for the day, uh, which might be a Ritz or something like that. Uh, you might be in the mood for a scene, 
in which case you book our hip hotel for the day, oh, okay. which might be like the Ace in New York is a great example where there's always something going on and it's a fun scene. Uh -huh. um, but maybe you're just in the mood for a great bed to sleep in. No frills, no, you know, you don't need anything else. You just want to get a good night's sleep. Right. And then you book our, our basic hotel option for the night. And you can only do this after 12 o'clock in the afternoon. That's right. Every morning we're racing around with our hotel partners to, to determine what, what, what available inventory there is for today and who's willing to offer the best value to our, to our consumers each day. So, and at noon, we reveal the best values in each city. Each and why day. does it have to be like at noon? How did, how did that? Well, because we wanted to make sure that hotels had an opportunity. You know, we, we view ourselves as a marketplace. We have hotels on the one hand that need to sell rooms and we have, we have customers on the other hand that, that want to book rooms. And we, want, we wanted our app to be valuable a valuable tool to both. And so we wanted to, in order to ensure that we had the best values at the best hotels mm -hmm. every day, we wanted to make sure that hotels had the ability to have control over when they sell on Hotel Tonight and when they don't sell on Hotel Tonight. Yeah. And you know, sort of it's, it's paradoxically, by giving them all this flexibility and control, we end up getting the best inventory because they feel most comfortable loading that inventory into the Hotel Tonight system for our users. Right. So by giving them until noon to figure out what their demand is likely to be for today, they can feel much more confident that these are rooms that are definitely not going to be sold otherwise, and so they can get more aggressive on Hotel Tonight. Now is that, well first of all, what, what's the discount, what's the average uh, discount you give to uh your customers? You know, we generally see discounts for anywhere from 20% to 70%. I'd say that the average is, is somewhere in the 30s, that's my guess. Okay. And the average room rate that's booked, what's the, the price? So, so that all depends. And, you know, it, that depends on what's going on in the market, what market it is. New mm -hmm. York is more expensive than Anaheim, for instance. Um, but I would say generally it's right around $120. That's About 120 it. for the room. So that's, that's a pretty, um, that's a, these are pretty decent rooms. Oh yeah, for. you can get some amazing rooms for yeah. relatively little on Hotel Tonight. In fact, yesterday we announced a new feature on Hotel Tonight where you can, you can purchase, uh, in certain markets at this point, you can purchase suites, mm -hmm. really amazing suites. Um, we call it our high roller feature. Uh, where these are hotels that have a suite that's going empty tonight, yeah. they'll cut an amazing deal for that suite. Um, yeah. You know, it's going to be more than a hundred bucks uh, yeah. for the suite, but you're going to get a great deal on a pretty sweet room. And how many rooms are you booking per day? Well, we don't disclose the volume numbers, but I can say that uh, this year we've grown, uh, well, we're on track to grow about 300% uh, year over year, and we did the same thing last year. Um, so it's, uh, it's growing substantially, and in, in, in many of our cities, we are a significant driver of last minute bookings for, for hotels in the city. And you take 20% of the commission for That's whatever. our standard commission. Right? Okay, that's standard. Why 20%? Uh, well, you know, we, what we're finding is we're developing an expertise in real time, in the moment commerce. Uh, it's something that very few companies have really fo ever focused on. Um, but, so we could focus, we could, we could work in just about any industry whether it's hotel and travel or anything with a schedule book. The reason why we chose hotel is because there's already an infrastructure developed for distributing rooms online and via, via distributors. Um, and the 20% commission is attractive relative to the commission rates that have been charged historically by, by distribution sites. Really? A lot higher? Oh, sorry. Yeah, they can get a lot higher. You've been in the industry for, for a while. So. I've, been, I've, seen, I've seen some pretty, pretty egregious commissions charged. So we wanted to charge a reasonable commission mm -hmm. to hotels for the service that we provide um, and to encourage, you know, keep it reasonable in order to encourage hotels to pass that discount along to our customers. So tell me a little bit about your relationship with hotels because it, it is a competitive market. Um, you've worked in the industry for a long time actually, so you probably worked at some of your competitors yeah. today. Um, and so how are you getting that inventory, uh, because they certainly have the relationships with the hotels. Yeah, we knew going into this that we were coming into a pretty crowded field. There are lots of big, well-funded companies that have great resources and great relationships with hotels already. So the key for us, and the key I would say for any entrepreneur, is 
picking something that is that offers incremental value to your customers. So to the extent that hotels are one of our two sets of customers, in order for us to come in and offer anything of value to them, it had to have been it had to be something that's incremental, something that's not offered by the other players in the industry. And there are lots of other places players in the industry that offer to sell lots of rooms for hotels, but no one is specifically offering to sell just these unused rooms at the last second and to an audience of people who are really interesting consumers for hotels to, to meet. Um, so on the one hand, we're offering a really unique product to hotels, and that's what gets them interested in working with us. So you'll wait to the very last minute, whereas, whereas like Expedia or Priceline, what, they get it a week before? Or Expedia wait, or, or, or some of those guys might compel hotels to give them inventory for the whole year, for instance. And as a result, um, the pricing on that inventory could be poor when it comes to the moment uh, mm -hmm. that you need to book it. On Hotel Tonight, we allow hotels full flexibility in real time to, to price their inventory, to, to set how many rooms they'd like to sell. And it means that our, our users are likely to get much better deals on Hotel Tonight because it's just much fresher, it's much more managed. Right. Um, so we offer a unique value proposition to hotels. And the other reason why hotels like to work with us and the way we work with hotels is we've set ourselves up as a friendly source, a tool. Uh, we, don't, we don't pound hotels over the head. We don't, uh, we don't treat them poorly, we treat them as a customer, and as a result, they like working with us. And, you know, you, you, all things being equal, you, you like to work with the people you like to work with. And and do you feel, and w there's, um, some of them might feel that this puts pressure on their premium inventory, or is that...? Well, it's certainly an objection we face when we're talking to hotels. Hey, I don't want to, I don't want to train people to wait and book at the last second for a discount. Yeah. Um, but that's part of the, the sort of innovation that we brought to the market, which is because we're only displaying a limited number of hotels each day in each city, we make sure to rotate that inventory day after day. So you never see the same hotels two days or three days in a row on Hotel Tonight. As a result, if you come to San Francisco and you find that you need a hotel and you book, suppose you book the Hotel Vitale on Hotel Tonight, which is a great hotel in San Francisco, one of our favorite. Um, you book the Hotel Vitale, you go stay there and you love it. You love the Hotel Vitale. And then you've got another trip to San Francisco coming up in two weeks. You're not going to wait and hope that Vitale shows up on Hotel Tonight again because it's likely, it's yeah. likely that it won't. Okay. Instead, you book directly through Vitale ahead of time at, at full price, which right. is what Vitale wants you to do. Right. So in that case, we don't compete with hotels. We're, all we're doing is driving new Ooh. users to hotels and we continue to keep the display fresh for our consumers. Can you measure that, that you're driving new users to them? It's hard. Anecdotally, we can. And we know that hotels tell us that, uh, that the, the guests that, they, that, that we're introducing to them come back and book again and again at that hotel. Mm -hmm. In our, we, take, we, we survey our guests after they book, and 90% uh, of our guests tell us that they haven't stayed in the hotel they booked on Hotel Tonight. Um, so 60% of our guests tell us they weren't even planning on staying in a hotel tonight until they opened the Hotel Tonight app, which is pretty compelling. Did you, when you first started this, uh, just thinking about the market, not so much the hotels, but the consumer, did you feel that, you know, you're just going after consumers who are going to book the very last minute? Why did you think that was a big market? Because it is a big market. Um, it, that's one of the interesting things about travel is it's such an enormous industry. So uh, online hotel bookings around the world is about $450 billion a year. And 15% of that is already same day bookings. Okay. That's, you know, s upwards of $60 billion a year already spent on same day bookings. It's yep. a pretty nice market to get into. Yep. But what we're really excited about is that we believe that we are increasing that 15%. And the reason we're doing that is because our chief competition, the, the, the source that we're stealing the most share from, in other words, is your sofa or your mm -hmm. friend's sofa or a cab ride home or something like that. Yeah. So what we're offering is, you know, you're up and you, you know, you live outside of San Francisco, you're in San Francisco for the night for dinner, you have a couple drinks, you're having a good night, you could take a car home or you could crash on a friend's couch and that's historically what you would have done. Yep. But if we can offer you a really, really easy way to book a hotel and the price is right, mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. might convince you to do that instead. It'd be a whole lot more fun. 
And uh, in that way, we're bringing new demand to the industry and okay. increasing that 15%. I know some of those people who actually use Hotel Tonight to uh, stay in San uh, Francisco. Uh, I'm one of those people. That's, uh, that's exactly what I do. Um, tell me a little bit about your uh, personalization. How does that work? This is the, uh, so I mentioned one of the big uses of funds was uh, geographical expansion. Mm -hmm. The other big use of, use of these, this, this, our resources is to continue to build on the personalization efforts that we launched late last year. Um, you know, in an ideal world, and our goal is to only, just only show you one hotel option because we know that it is the perfect option for you today. And you look at it and you say, wow, how did they, how did they know that? That's magic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that's what we're going to get to. We're not quite there yet. What um, kind of information do you get? I mean, I'm sure some of it is just the actions that they take, the places that they book. But are you getting information from them? Are they inputting, providing some personal it's all, It's At this point, it's all sort of implicit, observed behavior that we're using. And we've got 7 million downloads of the app at this point. There's a lot of users pounding around on the app. We see a lot of usage, and we have a lot. We, we've collected a lot of data, um, so we now have a data science team that's sifting through all that data um, and discerning trends from it. And so we can start to tell, um, not only for you personally, you traditionally look at hip hotels, so we're going to display more hip hotels to you today. Okay. Or you, we know you're traveling because you're not in the place you normally are, uh, so we're going to offer you a hotel that's very close to you. You know. Um, there are all sorts of things that we can do um, that make it just a more relevant experience for you and a more useful experience for you. Is there any social involved? Or? Well, stay tuned. Okay, um, so there isn't right now. There's a lot. We, we, there, you know, there are little bits and pieces of social that we've, that we've launched. So for instance, um, earlier this year we launched a feature called Snap Your Stay on the app, which is a really, really cool feature. It's the world's first photo review system for hotels. So, you know, I love looking at reviews for hotels when I'm booking them. It's mm -hmm. really helpful for me, but it's a pain to scroll through these essays, some of which are useful for me, some of which are not, but it's, regardless of whether they're useful or not, it takes a long time to sift through all that stuff. One thing we know, because we're mobile only, is yeah. that every single one of our customers is carrying a, a camera in their pocket when they get to the hotel. Yeah. So why not give them a structured way to take a bunch of photos and then they of the hotel in real time, friends. exactly what it looks like, post it on the app so that everyone, they can share it with friends, and we see a lot of people tweeting those photos out or, uh, or emailing or posting them to Facebook for all their friends to see. But also they become available to, to uh, other users sure. of the app to view that hotel and see what it really looks like. And that's a much more valuable review of the hotel and a more objective review, frankly, of the hotel than anything else. Just quickly, so you're not on, I can't go to hoteltonight.com. You can go there, but you can't do much there. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can see, you can see, you can read all about us, but you can't book a hotel there. Okay. And you did that because you just really wanted to just optimize for mobile, and we, you know, there are big platform shifts in technology. You know, offline to online, online to web 2.0. Uh -huh. um, what we've observed, there are two things we've observed. In those pla during those platform, those big platform shifts, yeah. first of all, travel companies generally are at the forefront of those platform shifts. These platform shifts created big new companies. Mm -hmm. And second of all, the incumbent players who were on the last platform have seldom been the winners on the new platform. Mm -hmm. It generally takes a new DNA to really optimize for the new experience. And we yeah. view the shift from online to mobile as every bit as dramatic as any of these other platform shifts. No one is focusing exclusively on mobile in the travel space except Hotel Tonight. And as a result, we've got a better experience. It's just more tailored to this use case and the way people use mobile phones. What our, what our, what our you know, traditional online competitors have tried is basically they just port their web experience onto a mobile app. Right. And what you get is a really cluttered experience that isn't intuitive and doesn't work for this use case. Right, right. And you brought up your competitors. What what about what if they start going to uh, these they, they start going to the hotels and saying, Hey, we'll wait till noon um, but we have a huge reach. We've got hundreds of millions of, of uh, consumers using us. Um, what if they start going to hotels and, and offering the same well, as you're offering? Well, you know, lucky for us, luckily, luckily enough, we already know what happens when they do that because they have started doing that. Um, and they started doing that pretty quickly after we demonstrated that there's a market here. 
Um, we were actually surprised at the speed with which we made a dent uh, in the industry. Um, and it was a scary time. That was probably fall of 2011 when they all started jumping into this. But what we found is because they're because the value proposition they put out to users is breadth of offering, they have everything. It becomes a really cluttered experience when they're in a little corner of the app somewhere that you can find maybe some, some same day stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it also is really difficult on their relationships with the hotels themselves because they've got to maintain several different pricing schemes with hotels. The hotels don't trust that the pricing scheme they're giving them for this last minute offer is being used just for the last minute offer. Mm -hmm. um, it creates a whole lot of mess. Mm -hmm. And as a result, hotels that originally tried to use them for this kind of stuff have eventually faded off and, and are putting all their inventory on Hotel Tonight instead. And what we hear time and again from our hotels is, and in fact, I've never heard a hotel say otherwise, when they put a similar offer on Hotel Tonight, and on any one of our any one of the other options for booking hotels, uh -huh. they always get more same day bookings from Hotel Tonight than any of those others, and that's pretty astounding given the reach that you mentioned. You know that, that these other guys have. Yeah. But it speaks to the value of focus. People know to come here when they need a same day hotel, and hotels know to come here when they want to move same day rooms. Yep. Um, and so it creates a really nice self fulfilling, you know, a, a, a nice kind of flywheel that works in everyone's benefit. What about, now those are the big incumbents, they t typically move slowly, but there's a lot of the younger, hipper, or new generation of, of travel apps as well. Um, and for instance, I think, is it Groupon bought Blink? Yeah. What do you think of that? Well, Blink is, you know, we've had, we've been validated, I suppose, in the sense that there have been lots of clones that have popped up around the world once we, once we started this, and, and Blink was one of these that that said, hey, we can, we can do this too. Um, what we found with a lot of these clones is that they look at our app and they say, wow, that's simple and elegant. I can build a simple, elegant app as well. Yeah. And what they don't realize is that 90% of the effort in code is behind the scenes to support the connectivity with the hotels to make sure reservations get there quickly, to support fraud prevention measures to make sure our customers' credit cards are safe. Yep. to support 24-7 customer support in multi, you know, in all the languages we support. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of work that happens behind the scenes to make a really robust product in the end and to make it look really elegant. So we were talking about expansion beyond last minute bookings, whether you would work more closely with the hotels or maybe brought in and offer last minute, you know, airline tickets. Yeah, you know, the nice thing for us is we've developed um, and expertise in connecting sellers of distressed inventory with buyers, or with potential buyers of that distressed inventory, and really optimizing it for all parties. Um, and the nice thing about that is we can apply that to any industry that has that has distressed inventory or has perishable inventory. Um, but what's great about travel is that it's enormous, and there is tons of opportunity for us in in, in hotels specifically. Um, so our view is we're going to stay laser focused on last minute hotel bookings for a long time um, until we feel like we're flatlining there or we feel like we've perfected the product and we feel like both of those things are a long ways off. Um, but it's always an option out there that we can take. We can, we can expand into an adjacent market anytime we want. Do you think that, um, I mean when you think about it is, it, is it a bigger opportunity to offer more services for the hotel and, and what would that look like if you were to expand and offer something, you know, an additional service? Well, we view our responsibility to our guests as ensuring that they have a fantastic hotel stay. That's what Hotel Tonight does, is you book on Hotel Tonight and you're going to have a great hotel stay. We're going to make sure that the hotel is a great hotel. We're going to make sure that the process is seamless. Um, and given you're carrying your phone with you when you go book the when you go stay in the hotel, there's a lot of communication we can keep keep going throughout the course of your stay to ensure that the whole stay is a magical experience for you. And so there's a lot of opportunity for us to build our product features in that direction. Um, but what we're most focused on right now is. Uh, is building out that personalization aspect to make sure that we are offering the most relevant, the most perfect hotel options for each one of our users when they when they log into Hotel Tonight. So, 
I think we touched on that personalization already, but uh, maybe just expand just a, a little bit more in terms of how much more personalization is it going to look like next year, let's say. Well, our goal is to, is to make the Hotel Tonight booking process as easy as it can possibly be and as convenient as it can possibly be. So our responsibilities are to keep the, keep, you know, to intuit as much as we can about what you need and what you want when you come to the app so that you don't have to sit there and tap a bunch of things that we could have figured out ourselves. And we're already doing that to a large extent on the app, um, obviously because we've, we know you're only booking for same day, we don't have to, you don't have to choose uh, which dates you're checking in uh, because we generally our guests are traveling on their own or with a friend or with a significant other we know that a room needs to fit two adults um, and so we don't need to have all sorts of room type options on the app so there are those are things we've done to simplify booking on hotel tonight but there's a lot more we can do in terms of knowing what your interests are in a hotel right now sometimes you're interested in a hip hotel sometimes you're interested in a basic hotel we need to know that uh, we need to figure that out based on your past behavior or based on your context right now, where you are and what you're doing right now. Those are all things that we can continue to do and improve our algorithms to improve the results that we serve to all our users. Well, how much would you know about a user beyond how much they would pay and how, you know, what style they like? Well, quite a bit. I mean, you know, one of the there are two great things about what's going what what's going on in Hotel Tonight right now. One of the things is that we've a lot of users using Hotel Tonight. We've got seven million downloads of the app. There are a lot of people using Hotel Tonight, and that's all data that we can learn from to improve the experience for everyone. And the other thing is that people tend to use Hotel Tonight even when they don't have a, a booking intent. They just pull up Hotel Tonight to surf through and look at cool, cool pictures of hotels and. and that's a really fun aspect of Hotel Tonight, and we take great pride in the fact that we take all our own photography, we write all the content from scratch, all the editorial profiles of the hotels we write from scratch, and they're fun to read, and yep. it's really interesting. But the side uh, benefit for us is that we see you browsing around on the app, and we can see what kinds of things you gravitate toward and what you like, and we can use that to make sure that the results we give you are much more tailored to you. Let's quickly take a, a look, because I'm going to run out of battery here, right. so show me really quickly about this awesome well, we are, venue. We are in the hotel lobby bar. This is the centerpiece of Hotel Tonight, um, and it is designed to be a gathering place for the community, just like a great lobby bar would be. Yeah. Um, and our community gathers here all the time. We're here 24-7, weekends, all the time. Um, Happy hours. Speaking speakers in here, panel presentations, all sorts of things. This is the famous Hotel Tonight gong that we bang whenever we launch a new market or launch a new feature. We banged it three times this morning. How does um, that sound? It sounds pretty good. It, so it sounds like <laughs> success. Here, I'll, oh. I'll bang it for you. All right. Um, someone's, uh, someone stole the, the gong. All right. It's gong delicious. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. So, um, and then you're gonna show me the applause yes. from the gong. Yes. Um, nice. So, here is we have a number of really interesting takes on our logo, the the famous H bed logo, um, and this each one of these designs was built by a local artist um, in the Bay Area who built these from scratch. And they represent different aspects of what we do here. Um, uh, we're technology, we drink lots of beer, <laughs> we play lots of ping pong, we travel. Uh, we generally have a good time building this out. Okay. Thank you for the tour. This was great. Pleasure.